Welcome back, ladies and gents. Here I am with my dirty shirt again, uh, working on a John Deere 6210. You can see the sticker there a little bit. The owner has told me that the air conditioner is not working. I've already confirmed that it's not turning on here. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I just disconnected this. First thing I'm gonna do is check the power to it. I'm going to use my good old power probe here, and if I have to, I'll use my multimeter. But I hook my power probe up to the battery there, going to turn the key on, going to turn the AC switch on, and see if we're getting power here. Um, if we are not, then that means it's probably an electrical problem. Um, but I cannot test the pressure to see if it's um, clogged up in the condenser or anything like that, because I can't get the clutch on. Without the clutch, you can't test the pressure. It doesn't make any sense. So first thing we got to do is test the electrical. So let's see what happens. I replaced the fuse um, and the relay, and we are getting power now. So we've got power here to the wire that goes to the compressor. But every time, um, the owner said every single time that he would put in a new fuse or a new relay, it would blow it, which means it overloads. So I used my... A power probe here I gave the compressor power and it said C8 on here which means the fuse was blown um, so I just reset it here and um, it I mean I can continue to give power and the clutch comes on but every single time the compressor overloads so that means there's a heavy blockage in the system something like that um, or you just have a bad compressor so what I'm gonna have to do is take the compressor off um, I'm going to have to completely discharge the system, check everything, flush everything out, make sure that there are absolutely no blockages, and then we'll move forward from there. One thing I want to show you, there are these caps over these idler pulleys. This here is your tensioner. you got to pry that cap off. It's super easy to get that cap off of there, just with a, a screwdriver. And you got a 15 millimeter bolt. Generally on the 620, uh, 6210, you want to pull it up. I'll show you here. Put this bad boy on there. Go up, and as you can see, it loosens the belt. Then you take the belt off and remove your AC compressor. Looking from the top of the engine compartment here, what you got to, got to do is to take off four 13 millimeter bolts. You've got this bracket on this one, but four 13 millimeter bolts, and this will completely um, come up. In order to get the hoses off, the high and the low pressure lines, you got to use a six metric hex bit. Once you got the lines off of there, then you can blow some air through there, see if there is flow. Because um, I want to see if the condenser is clogged. If the condenser is clogged, I might have to take it off, which is right up under there. And I might have to blow it out, something like that, or replace it. Who knows? We shall see. So I put compressed air inside the lines after taking out or removing the compressor. And there was indeed a clog. So I couldn't blow air in this end or the other end. So I use what I always use, AC Pro. Any type of flush and clean will work real well. Um, I generally use... A syringe and put in quite a bit and so you want it to stay in the lines with for at least 10 minutes and after about five minutes um, I put some more in there with the syringe and it busted straight through um, so it was actually flowing I've let it sit for a little bit now I'm gonna blow it out with air uh, check everything check all the lines make sure we're good to go replace the um, the o-rings that's something you always want to do here um, place those guys and replace the dryer if you have one on it. All right, after we had a bolt on the top of the uh, the hose break, I had to drill it out and all that. I had to go track one down. Took me a couple hours. Uh, after we got that taken care of, we got the new compressor back in. All four bolts. Here we are, 13 millimeters. This is six millimeter hex. Uh, this one's 40 millimeters long if it matters to you and I think this one's 25 um, but we blew out the lines used the flush as we already said and we put the belt back on usually 
uh, on something like this because this is in the way, the, uh, the coolant tank. Um, I took the, the belt off down here on the alternator, took it completely off, put it on up top, and then with a wrench, I uh, moved the, the tensioner pulley up, loosened the belt, and pulled it here on top of the, uh, the alternator. So that worked. Now we're going to charge it up and get it going. So hopefully uh, next time you see me, we'll be blowing cold. So it took quite a while to recharge it but we got her done and uh we are blowing a good 65 degrees in the cab it's 90 degrees in the shop right now so that's pretty darn good um, i want to show you as you already know there's the compressor there are the hoses there's the the um, low pressure fitting the high pressure fitting is right here that well right here as you might not be able to see it there is your um, evaporator or your dryer and your high pressure uh, switch is right over there so if you're looking to do anything on a 6210 John Deere AC system this is it one of the things I want to recommend um, when recharging something like this especially when the condenser is at the very very front so you've got condenser AC condenser then you've got transmission cooler then you've got radiator behind here. Then you've got your fan, which pulls your air that way. It's got to do a lot of work there. And especially if the sides aren't on it or anything like that, it might not be getting enough air to cool it down while you're charging it. So watch your high side. Make sure it doesn't get too high. One of the things that I always try and do is I put a fan on it. But especially because on many of these tractors, you'll have the battery here, which that does allow you uh, to get some air through there. However, you got a battery right there. And you got the lights, so no air is coming through here. You got air coming through here, air coming through the sides, and air coming through the top. That's about all you got. Uh, so there it is, a John Deere 6210 AC system. If uh, you need help working on your own, hope that helped you. Thanks for watching.